The cockpit in PC Next Engineer provides different functions for managing the controller. It displays the essential diagnostic information on the controller, but also offers control functions for actively working with the device. Though the amount of functions you can use may vary with the type of controller that is embedded in the project. The cockpit can be found by double-clicking on the controller in the plant, and selecting the cockpit editor afterwards. The diagnostic information is displayed on the left and is divided into different sections that can be selected. The shown information also depends on the controller tab involved. To be able to see the live diagnostic information make sure that the controller is set as a target system. For that purpose TCP IP must be selected in the drop down list. Click the Connect to Controller button on the cockpit toolbar to establish a communication between PLCNX Engineer and the controller. It might involve a secure device concept that re requires a logon with username and password. The live diagnostic information now is displayed. The horizontal toolbar at the top provides all commands for controlling the application. You already used the first button that establishes or disconnects the communication between PSNX Engineer and the controller. The second button activates the debug mode. In case a secure device concept is involved, the next three buttons can be used to log on or log off, switch user or change the password. Writing a project to the controller is done with this button. You can either download the whole project with the first two options, or just the project changes with the last two. With both of these options, the project sources are includable. Here, the default web browser of your computer is launched and the HMI application executed. You can also access the web-based management of the device that lets you configure and manage your device using a browser. In case you included the project sources in the downloaded project, you can upload them again into PSNX Engineer with this button. The button with the clock lets you set the real-time clock on the controller to the current system time of your computer. If pressed, the ABC button switches the controller to hold if a string error has been detected. The next four functions are used to stop and start the controller, followed by a reboot and a reset function. Finally, you have a button to enable the use of breakpoints. It includes a drop-down list for further debugging.